Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be discussing how we can implement the decision tree algorithm in R Studio. So let's get started. In my previous video, I've explained what's the meaning of the this tree, decision tree, and what are the different concepts like impurity, uh, entropy, everything, right? In this video, I'm gonna discuss how we can implement the same, right? So for, for this video, we're gonna uh, need just two packages. One package is common throughout uh, this uh, classification examples like which is CA tools which is used for dividing data into training and testing set and one new package we require which is uh, which is the base of the decision tree which is called as a R part okay let's load the libraries which are required for this video first is CA tools and next one is it is R part so in case if you haven't downloaded that please download with the install dot packages and load the library okay these two are important so first of all let's import the data set so i'll be importing data set uh, into some variable name i can maybe use decision tree dt equal to read dot csv and then uh, we're gonna load the same data set which i used in a previous videos of classification which is nothing but the social network ads okay so social network ads this are the this is the uh, file csv file and header equal to true so this is the file and we can check out data again so it's the same data set which i'm using for so long we got five columns and the same concept that we in uh, with respect to independent variables which is age and estimated salary we're gonna predict whether the person will purchase the product or not okay and again the way we did earlier we have to do the subsetting so i just need last three columns done afterwards let's encode the target feature which is the purchase column into factor again it's the same template that i'm using for so long so in case if you have already understood the one video uh, entirely it will be very simple uh, for this as well because we are using the same concept factor dt purchased and we can specify here levels we are having only two levels available which is zero and one okay done afterwards let's split the data set into training and testing set and we can just set up the seed value as we have done earlier and let's uh, divide into training and testing set so dt training i'm naming it as equal to uh sorry split first split equivalent of sample dot split sample dot split dt purchased and then we can specify split ratio split ratio which is again the same that we've used already 75 percent and dt training dt train let's suppose equal to subset function we're gonna use and dt comma split equivalent to true done in the same way we have to specify the uh, testing set for which i'm using a name dt test and subset again dt split equivalent to false as i've already told you if you have already watched my previous video these are the same steps i have done earlier also and again let's do the uh, feature scaling as well so dt train dt train and we just have to uh, get rid of the dependent variable which is the purchased and we have to do the scaling scale and we can just use same dt train and minus three so same thing we have to do for the uh, testing as well uh, again i'm again uh, repeating the scaling is required so that all the columns will be on same scale and the salary column should not be considered as of more priority because of its higher value than age so in the same way dt test minus 3 equivalent to scale scale dt test and minus 3 done afterwards now let's fit the decision tree classification to training set for this we're gonna use the r part function and let's uh, create the classifier first so i'm naming it as dt classifier equivalent to and we can use r part as a function okay in the first parameter will be formula as we already use this uh, 
uh, argument in my previous videos as well the formula will be obviously it will be the dependent variable uh, tilde sign independent variable so dependent variable we all know it is purchased which we're gonna predict tilde sign and then we can use dot dot represent all the independent variables comma data data will be obviously it will be training set which is our dt train dt train done okay we are done now let's see let's uh, try to predict the test set results okay for that dt prediction i'm, I'm gonna name it as predict equivalent to so let's predict it dt predict equal to predict function and in the predict function we have to use now classifier which is dt classifier comma and we have to use new data as a parameter equivalent to test set which is dt test and it will be minus 3 because we don't have to include the third column okay dependent variable okay let's see now what is dt uh, what we got in dt predict okay let me clear the screen now dt predict read it okay so you must be wondering what this is all about right because in our previous videos the prediction when we were using this prediction right predicting the test test result we were always always getting the vector 0 1 0 1 0 1 but here why we are getting this one so let me uh, make you understand 0 and 1 okay so in this case these are the probabilities okay if you sum up these two it will be obviously it, it will be 1 you can see if you sum these two it will be 1 if you if you sum these two it will be one it meaning is it is given in the form of zero and one in this case it is having an almost 97 percent probability that it will be zero it means customer will not purchase a product let's check out the uh, results with that uh, testing as well okay let me check out the test result results dt test okay dt test having first argument is two and two is having a purchase zero okay and what we got with the prediction in this case it also also showing the same that we have a 97 percent probability that the person will not purchase a product so zero indicates it indicates the probability of not buying it's the probability of buying okay in case if we are having you can see now this one 19 in this case 94 percent has a probability that person will buy a product let's see 19th in the test testing as well 19 is having one you can see it is having a it is it is going to buy a product okay it is one so in this case also 19 is suggesting because we are having 94 percent uh, probability that it is uh, the person is going to buy a product so i'm again repeating this is the probability this one if you sum up these two any of these two it will be always be one because we all know the probability can't be more than one okay if we have a more probability towards one it means the customer will going to buy a product if it's more of towards the zero customer will not buy a product I hope it is okay clear okay so instead of you if you want to see the result in 0 and 1 we can also do one thing let me show you so instead of this we got what we can do is we can also uh, pass another parameter if you want to see in a more uh, like appropriate way in the 0 and 1 0 1 fashion so we can use type equal to class now check out the results okay you will find the results in, in the same fashion that we used to see in our previous videos 0 1 0 1 okay and you can just check uh, match with the dt test dt test and you can see uh, these are the zero ones and what we got from the prediction this algorithm classifier decision tree this is the uh, testing right and at the last we can also check out the uh, confusion matrix let's do it confusion dt confusion equal to table table function and in this case we can just use dt test and we just have to include third column so comma three and y pred so dt predict so let's see the dt confusion how many uh, how much we have classified properly how we have predicted properly how we haven't predicted properly so in this case you can see we have predicted uh, 83 uh, su uh, successfully rightly and 6 plus 11 means 17 like not correctly right i hope you must have understood from this little, little short video that how we can apply or implement the decision tree algorithm in our studio thanks for watching guys see you next video